Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender and let's talk about Ngon cuts. Technically you could do them with vanilla Blender, but you would need like 10 years of labor, 3 years of preparations, a team of scientists, who the hell has time for this shit, you know what I mean? So, we educated people, we're not savages, we use box cutters, so default box cutter and you have an Ngon. Now you can switch your view to object view, whatever you want, and then you select your object and you start cutting. Now, out of the box, a box cutter will allow you to cancel or uh, sort of go back in history of your uh, points here on the end gun by pressing backspace or pressing right mouse button, right? So you can retract your steps and go back. That's one of the way of canceling. The way I like to have it set up is to go to op options here and simply enable a uh, right mouse button to cancel Engon. So when I draw some stuff, right, when I cancel it, I press right mouse button, all is gone. It's faster way of working. If you want to snap this thing to increments, right, because you see it's sort of free angling at the moment, you hold control and it's going to snap into increments, okay? So if you want to draw at straight angles, that's how you do it. And you simply press and it cuts, right? Now, another thing for the Engon that's important to know. Now, another thing for end guns that's important to know is that you can actually bevel the thing. So you can bevel your end guns with B key, all right? So it behaves exactly the same way as um, as just an, any other cut. There is a one cool, really cool function in recent hardops, a uh, few, few um, updates, you know, back. It's called cyclic. If you turn off this thing here, called cyclic, right, you can start drawing very interesting shapes indeed, because when you press T, the thing is going to get solidified. In addition, right, you can bevel it. It looks a bit messed up uh, when you, you know, when you bevel it at first, but then it actually works. So you could bevel this thing. The same way you could actually draw shapes on the floor, right? So if you have nothing selected, you can start actually creating shapes. So um, then when you extrude them up, right, you can create walls and stuff. Now there's another setting that's really cool for these cuts, okay? So I like cutting end guns at angles because just, you know, uh, holding control is just tiring. So if you actually go here and enable this, okay, the angle lock, right, it's going to work for any end gun. So at the moment, if I enable this, so I have a usual end gun cut, all my cuts are at, you know, are at angles, okay? So if I want to release the angle, all I do is press control and hold it. So that's a preferable way of working for me. So that's, I think, all about angles that you need to know. Of course, it goes without saying that you can use angles as any other cutters, which means, for example, you could use them uh, as cut, slice, slash, insert, whatever you want. So let's go with insert, right? And Bob's your uncle. You can array them, so you could do stuff like this, right? And that's why we use box cutter. Um, angles, of course, work with um, in object mode. They work with the snap grid. So if you wanted to, you know, you could actually um, use your snap grid with an angon, and it works perfectly fine. So that's angon cards, guys, in box cutter. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Thanks for watching, and if you want to buy box cutter or hard ops, you can always go to the video description. There are affiliate links to Master Zion 1001 store where you can buy a bundle, and you're gonna help me as well at the same time. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. Catch you in the next video.